So he stopped the Hawaii rally. Asper back to serve. Looks over to the side to coach Don Shaw. 6-4. T. Williams. Cincerova. Eggie. Off the puck. Eggie again. Cincerova. Jesse. Kept alive by Stanford. Here's Asper. Up front. Blocked. A lot of Stanford players crowding around to get that one. Here's Stanford again. And a good changeup that time. Amy Hayes took a little something off that one, and it works. That's right. Hayes has hit a lot of balls these last three rotations. I'm surprised that the Hawaii block even went up that time. Amy Hayes had no approach at it. She just stood straight up and just kind of hit an off-speed shot and used the block. 7-4 as Suzanne Eggy puts that one down. The nice timing leap by Eggy. Sometimes, John, it's better for the block not to go up at all. They just get in the way, and their hands become tools for the hitter. Cincerova serving. Puts it deep up front. Reno, haven't heard her name much this game. Cincerova over to Ahuna, close to the net. She is stuffed up front, but a good dive. That time, T keeps it alive. Great digs by both teams. Two tough defensive teams. Cincerova, Jesse, Ahuna. Stanford keeps it alive again. Hayes. Best rally of the night right here. Jesse off the blocker up front, tipped. Blocked and stuffed down by Hawaii, and it lands out, and Suzanne Eggie can't believe that one. John, uh, Suzanne Eggy, Dave Shoji thought the ball was blocked back off the hitter. Suzanne Eggy thought the ball was blocked down onto the line. They come up empty on both cases. Here's the pass by Stanford. Set goes up, and Eggy blocks it down, and there it looked like it was in the court. Stanford calls it out, and so does the linesman. That one didn't even look close. But then again, we're not the referees. It's 7-4, Stanford serving. Ahuna off the block, kept alive. Olison running into Gary, Indiana. And Reno pumps it over, and the crowd loves it. Ahuna says not twice and says, yeah. Hawaii with the serve now. Jesse back to serve. It's 7-4. Tita Ahuna, emotional leader, captain, playing her final game for the Rainbow Wahine. She wants it badly. That's the gal you want on the court with you when the chips are down. She is tough. Serve lands out. Diana Jesse serving it out. We said earlier, Jesse strained her back before the game. I'm convinced something's got to be up with her medically before a game. She has played great all season long. One of the most consistent players on the Rainbow Wahine team. There's another one right there. Boy, Suzanne, Suzanne Eggy and Martina Cincerova are really clicking tonight. Better than I've seen them click all year long. Jamie Payette coming in to give Eggy a little break. She'll come in, of course, to serve and spend some time in the back row. There you see her looking over to Coach Dean Nowak. The dean of coaches will tell her where to serve. Set up front, step out move, great play by Payette. That is so tough to come off the bench and do that. Good dig. Off of Jesse and back into the cheap seats. Side out to Stanford. Diana Jesse thought the ball hit the block that time. That's why she stuck her hands out, but the ball did not touch the block. And had she dropped her hands out of the way, it would have been a, a point for Hawaii. That time, that ball, that changeup by Wendy Rush, there's about an ace as you can get. The first thing it hit was the floor. Didn't even touch anybody's hands. It just dropped in the middle. 8-4, Stanford doubling up on Hawaii. Cincerova setting up Ahuna. Ahuna puts it down the line. There is a major league hit. When she made All-American last year, that's how she attacked the ball. She turns it back down the line, and she went up against a very good blocker in Teresa Smith that time. And she had no problems whatsoever. Here, Elinecki's getting a rest, and Trishman's coming in. First time we've seen freshman Carrie Trishman in the game. She's up there with T, and she has been very effective in the spot duty she has seen so far in the NCAA playoffs. Ahuna, Hyatt, and T puts it over. Chance for Stanford. Reno. Asper. Off of Ahuna. But it goes out. Chris, I'm still convinced that it's going to take more than what we've seen from Stanford's leading kill artist, and that's Nancy Reno. We just have not seen her put too many balls away so far tonight. That's right. Here's a set by Rush to the outside. And Asper, one of the players that we thought would be a question mark tonight, and one of the factors in this game, one of the non-All-Americans we talked about at the top of the show, she just drilled that ball. Trishman a little late getting out there. She's a little cold coming off the bench. Normally she enters the game sooner than this, but I'm sure she'll warm up quickly. Jamie Payette sets it up. Trishman sets it too deep, and Jesse just has to poke it over. Set up by Stanford. Off the block, it goes out. Point to Stanford. It's 9-4. to four. Coming back into the game is Eggy. To get here, Stanford beat Oregon 3-0. They beat Colorado State 3-0. They beat BYU 3-1. And, of course, on Thursday, they beat Texas 3-2. As we said, this is the sixth year in a row they've been in the Final Four. 
They lead 9-4, game three. All set up to Williams, and Williams with a little TNT. Gets it back for Hawaii. That time, Stanford knew exactly what was coming with Hawaii down 9-4. The whole world knew the set was going out to T. Williams. Stanford had their blockers out there ready to go, and she still goes over and down. Elenecki serving for Hawaii. Coach shows you using some rotations this game. Off the top of the net over Jesse, but T. Williams is there, and it goes to Jesse. Good block by Stanford, set up nicely. And that would have been out. It's coming over to me. Great dig by John Fink. That's and that's twice we've had. We haven't that, had any balls over here the whole tournament, the whole year. I don't know if they're doing All-American sportscasters, but uh, that's got to be up there, Chris. Stop, One of my stop. finest career digs. Almost knocked the wind out of me. I quit. <laughs> Back to serve for Stanford at 9-4 is Laura Olson. T. Williams off the blocker. It'll be side out to Hawaii. Chris McLaughlin, of course, trying to run away from that ball. I was trying to save the Hawaii player, Elaneki, from injuring herself and, of course, retrieving the ball at the same time, trying to get in a quick and cheap interview. 4-9, T. Williams serving. Ball set up front. Dink in the middle. Elaneki, Cincerova, Eggy. Asper sets it up. Here's Reno, and she puts it down. Maybe she heard me, but she has got to be doing that, Chris. She's too good a player. She's an All-American, and she needs to be up there. First team All-American, there you see Nancy Reno. Number 11, a key factor for Stanford in their comeback. Asper serving, Cincerova, right over the top. Cincerova just took that one right into Amy Hayes and said, here's a gift. Excellent play that time by Martinez. as she won the joust at the net as the ball was 50-50. She just pushed it a little harder and got the side out. Ball set up by Rush. Slam down that time. It'll be side out for Stanford. Again, it's 9-4. Stanford trying to pull away here in game number three. Hawaii leading two games to none. Amy Hayes with the serve. T. Williams in Sarova. Ahuna. Blocked. Comes over to me again. Tipped by McHaley. Tipped by Fink. Thrown to the ball judge. This is great action. I need a shower. <laughs> I believe they called four hits on us, though. Jesse serves. Reno blocked up front, but it lands out. Nancy Reno starts raising her game to another level. What a set by Rush that time. She went to her knees in her All-American style, as only she can do, and put up a great back set to Reno that time. Cincerova sets it up. Elenecki now up front over the blockers, but Stanford keeps it alive. Teresa Smith, T. Williams, a great dig. She's an All-American defensive player, too. Keep that in mind. Elenecki through the blockers. There's the magician, and she is pumped. Coming back into the game for Hawaii, two subs, Payette and Kerry Trishman. King's Bakery has cookies, German fruitcakes, and pies all freshly baked for the holidays. Place your orders now for that special part. King's Bakery open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Of course, McCulley and in the Kaimuki Shopping Center. That's King's Bakery, where I'm going to be next weekend. I guarantee it for that Portuguese sweetbread French toast. 4-9, Hawaii serving. And Stanford gets it right back. Wendy Rush back to serve now. Their second leader in aces and All-American first team this year. Pac-10 player of the year. Good pancake that time by Jesse to keep it alive. Trishman just pokes it back over. Smart play by the freshman. She didn't go for the kill. She just poked it back over to the opening on the floor. That's all you need to do. It counts just as much. Tita Ohuna looking over to Coach Shoji. Dries off her sneakers on the ground. Asper blocked up front. Chance for Stamper now. Rush. Asper. Stuffed up front. Went back to the well twice there, Chris. It didn't work. That's right. Martina Cincerova was overdue for a stuffed block. She had missed four or five prior to this, and she was very frustrated with herself. That should get her confidence back. 5-9. Reno in the back row, setting it up. Off the blocker, T. Williams. Cincerova, T. Great diving dig by Reno in the back. Cincerova right there. Stanford not hitting it too hard, and T. Williams miss hits. Unusual miss by T that time. What a dig that time by Nancy Reno. I can see why the Chicago Tribune called her the best volleyball, female volleyball player ever to come out of the state of Illinois. Good line drive serve off of T. Williams. Here's T with a jam. Set up all the way across. Tita Huna with a diving dig. Sinsarova with a diving set. 
And T. Williams hits it and hits off of Teresa Smith. It might have been out. I don't know, Chris. I think that ball was good, and I think it, it was over the block, and, and it looked like it was coming down. It was hit in a perfect part of the court, in the corner, the deep corner, where usually no defender plays. 5-9, Elenecki serving back in the game for Trishman. Ball set up outside. Jesse, chance for Hawaii. T, down through the floor. There she is hitting the, what they call a 31 set. It's a quick set, hits into the three area along the net, and she is successful on that about 90% of the time. 6-9, Hawaii creeping back into game number three. Ball blocked up front, T Williams, Cincerova, tries to go over the top, T with a diving dig. Jesse, good block that time, up front by Hayes. Reno, Elenecki keeps it alive, off the block that time. Ball comes over, side out to Stanford. KHNL very proud to be bringing you what is arguably the biggest sporting event for a Hawaii college team in the past few years here, the NCAA Finals. Elenecki, Cincerova, Jesse, boom, Alaskan slam. 6-9, and coming back into the game is Suzanne Eggy as she has had her breather, and good job by Jamie Payette. Stanford had just set a team record, for, uh, uh, the record for team digs in a Final Four. One of the reasons being they played five games the other night. 373 digs, they are a great defensive team, but meanwhile, Hawaii, Coming back, T. Williams back to serve, it's 7-9. Stanford had the chance, couldn't get above the 10 mark. And here comes the Rainbow Wahine power. Reno off the block, kept alive. Aggie blocks that one, Reno again. Aggie blocks it off to Jesse. Here's Jesse, through the block, pumped over, Cincerova. Up front, Reno over the block, Elenecki diving save. Aggie, rush. Hayes, Jesse. Sounds like a ping pong game, and Jesse took a little something off it. You can see she's not pleased with it as it goes into the net. It's side out to stand for a good point that time. Excellent rally that time. Unfortunate that it ended the way that it did. Diana Jesse just couldn't jump up for it, got too conservative. Should have at least found the court that time instead of missing it short. Eggie hits it through Reno and throws the ball out of play. She is the queen of adrenaline out here when she gets going with that All-American smile. She really is, and she is fired up for this game tonight. She does not need the Clum crowd. That's one monkey they want to get off their back. I think the girls want to prove they can win without the hometown crowd advantage. That time, Amy Hayes tried to cute move her ready rush, and it was blocked by Eggy. Good idea, but it didn't work. Point still alive, Ahuna. Smith, rush. Not set up enough for anyone to get to a chance for the Rainbows. And Ahuna. Good dig in the back, though. Miss hit by Reno. John, one of the things that the coaches uh, convention today that almost every single coach said, as I polled them, said that in order for a team to win, you've got to have great outside hitters. Hawaii has about five of them working for them tonight. And it's brought them back in the game. They now trail only eight to nine. Back in Market Square Arena, Hawaii. And Channel 13, proud to bring you the NCAA Finals. 15-10, 15-10, and 8-9 right now. There's Coach Shoji. Hawaii has used every timeout they've called the past few weeks for their best effectiveness. And right now, Cincerova is serving, trying to tie it up for Hawaii. Stanford really needs a rally here. Reno, 